I want to ask you uh, about the anti-sodomy law in Virginia. Uh, this is something that has been in uh, there's a legal challenge right now working its way uh, on appeal. And uh, basically, there's a Virginia law that uh, makes sodomy illegal. This includes oral and anal sex, including between people that are married. Uh, and one of the reasons for keeping this is that it's often used by prosecutors to go after uh, child molesters. And I was speaking to a prosecutor in Northern Virginia this morning, and he was saying that his office has actually used this to go after child molesters because they can use it as part of a toolbox, whereas you know if they have a particular offender, they might have a misdemeanor, but they can use this law to add a felony conviction onto the the sentence to get a, a longer sentence. Um, however, the, the drawback to this is that it makes it illegal for uh, many kinds of heterosexual, consensual, married sex, as well as homosexual sex. Or a lot of people feel like this targets the gay community. And so I want to give you a chance to make some news here, which is uh, by piggybacking on something the prosecutor told me this morning, which is there's a le there's a legislative fix to this, which is you can uh, change the law t in a way that just goes after the the child offenders and makes that a felony conviction and sort of rewrite the language in a way that takes out all of the illegal language for consensual uh, oral sex and anal sex. Do you have any thoughts on a legal fix for this, as opposed to the this uh, legal challenge that's going through the federal court system right now? Yeah, well, sure. I, you know, I think that when uh, the United States Supreme Court declared that these uh, uh, sodomy statutes were illegal, were unconstitutional with respect to consenting adults, I think that uh, that there was uh, general consensus that, that that portion of the statute was absolutely null and void, it absolutely had no impact. And I do understand uh, what was not clear at the time to members of the General Assembly is that there were prosecutors who had been and continued to uh, use that statute for purposes of prosecuting uh, child predators. And uh, uh, it is important. Uh, there is an important, uh, certainly, public interest in making sure that we uh, go after these people. I mean, in many instances, these really represent the worst of the worst, or people who are on the pathway to being the worst of the worst, those who would take advantage of our kids. And uh, we've got to make sure that there is a, uh, an appropriate remedy, and it may very well be that uh, if the uh, Supreme Court has not decided by January that the appropriate course to remove the uncertainty is to uh, amend that statute to make sure that the entire statute doesn't run the risk of being uh, held unconstitutional for purposes of future prosecutions. Uh, I suppose if the Fourth Circuit is uh, upheld and the Supreme Court doesn't take this case, and you know, there's something in the neighborhood, I forget the number, maybe 90 people who were on the uh, sex offender registry as a result of uh, not consensual acts between consenting adults, but uh, for uh, their actions as predators with respect to minors. And we've got to make sure that looking forward that we have appropriate remedies for you know, the criminal activities of these people. Uh, nobody, I mean, I certainly uh, am not advocating you know, uh, maintaining a statute that is uh, has been held as facially invalid and unconstitutional. So why not go with the legislative fix then? I, I you know, we're, that's going to be before the General Assembly in January. I think that the General Assembly is going to have to uh, take a look at it. If the Supreme Court, would you Court, support that? I, I think it depends. I mean, I think we've got to figure out uh, whether it, the, I mean, if the, there is a li likelihood that the entire statute is going to be held unconstitutional. Uh, it may be that we need to craft an entirely different statute, uh, but uh, it may be that the fix is simply carving out uh, the portion of the statute that was declared unconstitutional.